In this lesson, we are going to create a scene to show an animal using camouflage to hide. Living things can have different behaviors to avoid danger and to get what they need from their environment. This is called survival. What do living things need from their environment in order to survive? Living things need air, water, and shelter to survive. Animals might show different behaviors to help them get what they need from their environment. This squirrel stores food in the ground so it won't starve during the winter. Animals also might have different appearances to help them survive in different environments. This arctic fox in the snow has long fur to keep it warm. The dogs on the beach have less fur so they can stay cool. Some animals have colors that match their environment, making them hard to see. This is called camouflage. We are going to build a program that shows how lizards use camouflage to survive in different environments. We are going to use events in this program. An event is something that causes something else to happen in a computer program. When you play a game, you're using events. Each time you press a button, you are causing an event. As a result, the character in your game will jump or move based on the button you pressed. The event of pushing a button causes the action of moving the character. Let's jump into Scratch Jr. to start our program. Once you're in Scratch Jr., click the plus to add a new project. The first thing we want to do is change the background to one that a lizard would be found in. Can you think of what type of background that could be? Click the photograph at the top of the screen to choose a new background. Let's pick the jungle one for this program. Click the check to add it to your page. Now, our program is going to have a lizard character, so we can delete this starting character. Your character may look like this, or it might be a kitten. Click and hold down the mouse button until an X appears. Then, click the X to delete the character. Let's do these first few steps now. Add a jungle background to the page and delete the starting character. Go ahead and pause the recording to set up your page. Great work! Now we can add our lizard character. Click the plus button on the side to find the library of characters. Scroll down and click on the lizard. This lizard is blue, but we want the lizard to camouflage with our green jungle background. Instead of adding the blue lizard, click the paintbrush at the top. Now we can paint the lizard green. Click on the paint can and choose a green color. Then click anywhere on the lizard's body to turn it green. Now that we have a green lizard, you can click the check to add it to your page. So, you need to add a new lizard character, paint it green, and then add it to the page. Pause the recording now to add your lizard character. Now we can start to program the lizard. We will start with an event block. Events are yellow, so click the yellow button to see all of the events. We will use the start on tap event which shows a hand tapping a person. Click and drag this block into the lizard's programming area. Pause the recording to add the start on tap event block now. Now, we want the lizard to tell how its color helps it to survive. There are two different ways we can do this. First, you can record yourself. Click on the green button. There is a pop noise provided but we want the lizard to tell about how it survives, so we can click this block to record ourselves speaking. Click the red circle to start the recording and start speaking. Recording yourself will look like this. My green color makes me hard to see. Click the check to add the recording. When you finish your recording, it will show up in the block library. Drag the block over and connect it to your event block to add it to your program. Instead of recording yourself, you can have the lizard speak using a speech bubble. Click on the purple button to see the looks blocks. The say block has a speech bubble on it. 
Drag this over and connect it to your event block. Click on the box beneath the block and type in what you want the lizard to say. You can try something like this. My green color makes me hard to see. You can use a voice recording block or a say block to program the lizard to tell how its color helps it to survive. Pause the recording to complete this step now. The last thing we want to do is to have our lizard use their camouflage to blend in completely with the environment. For this, we will use another looks block. The hide block shows an outline of a person. This block will cause the lizard to hide or disappear on the page. Drag this block over and add it to your sequence of code. Now, when we tap the lizard, it will say something about how it survives and then it will hide. You can use the reset button at the top to make your lizard reappear. Pause the recording to add the hide block and then you can test your program. Great job! Now, if you still have time, you can add on to your program. Here are a few things you can try. You can add blue move blocks to have the lizard move before it hides. You can also add a second page by clicking the plus on this side of the screen. You can choose a different environment, and you can pick a different animal and paint it to blend in with the new environment. Then you can program it just like you programmed the lizard to show how this animal can survive. Pause the recording to add to your program now. Congratulations, you have coded your own camouflage scene. I hope you enjoyed learning how to program in Scratch Junior today.